Hi everyone, so this is going to be a reading for those that are in masculine energy. This could be a male-male relationship or a female-female relationship. It's just a reading for the divine masculines to know what, what your feminine is going through. So again, this would apply, this, this reading would be for um, anyone that identifies as male or anyone that is currently in masculine energy. Uh, don't get caught don't get too caught up on wording and remember you know take what resonates leave what doesn't if it's if it's not resonating then it's not your reading maybe one of my uh maybe my zodiac group readings will resonate for you if this one doesn't all right so what is the story right now what is what is your feminine what is your person and i i, I put the intention in of uh, channeling soulmates and twin flames, you know, true love specifically. So most likely a karmic will not come out in this reading. All right. Most likely, <laughs> I should say. Okay. What is your person wanting you to know? What's the situation right now? What do you need to know that you don't already know about this situation? Hmm. Yeah, we've got, see, I'm looking at these cards together. Oh, we've got X in the past, too. I'll pull them out. I'll just take them all out in the, let's see. We've got X in the past, and we have mixed feelings, hesitation. Oh, come on. Hesitation, mixed feelings, trapped, tied up, third party distraction karmic partner. Can you see those okay? Let's see. Got reconciliation, hidden truth, dreams and visions. We've got sex, seduction, fear of commitment, apology, regret, and pride and stubbornness. So I'm going to put these down here so we can look at all these together. I guess when I put the cards out, I probably should have figured because I was saying like, I'm going to try not to channel, but like I, I, cause I, I normally, I put the intention in of channeling soulmates and twin flames and I'm like, I'm going to try not to channel the karmic. And I probably intuitively felt something there. I'm like, let's see what comes out because I kind of felt that energy. So yeah, it wants to tell you something about a karmic connection that's coming back around. I'm going to tell you this story really quick. And then after that, I'm going to pull cards to see what your actual, you know, like true love, soulmate, twin flame, what's going on with them. I do feel like you're going to have, you're going to be choosing between two different women, I feel. I think this person is kind of lurking. They, I don't know if you guys are in contact yet. Maybe it's been a while since you've talked, but they're kind of stalking you on social media, testing the waters out, wanting to come back around. Um... I don't get a great energy from this person. I get kind of like a seductress kind of energy, just wants what they want when they want it. I think you're going to want to let this go and move forward. It might just be coming back around just so you can end that cycle and move on with your, your person. For some of you, maybe you're not with this person anymore, but they want to bring it back to your attention just so that you heal from it. Maybe you have cords you know, she's holding this red thread here. Maybe you have some cords that you need to cut, like doing cut and clear spells on this person. Maybe you haven't fully healed from this situation as much as you think you have. Um, maybe there's just still red threads that need to be cut, just healing work that needs to be done. Maybe a certain belief pattern or a certain pattern, like just something like a pattern that that's, you started based on what you experienced with this person and you keep repeating that pattern. Um, there's just something here that your guides want to draw your attention back to that you just need to cut this out That you need to heal from this maybe just again subconscious patterns or like, you know, the Astrally red cords that you need to cut between this person Just something that's kind of um, just a pattern that you've been repeating in your relationships because of what you experienced with this person You really loved for others of you. I think this is somebody that's currently in like maybe not currently in your life but this is somebody um, if this if this isn't a past story, it could be like a current, like this person is about to come back around, but you might just want to close it out. I think we've got X in the past here, so somebody you have a history with, hesitation and mixed feelings. You know, I think you really loved them, you were sure about them, but they, they kind of, this is kind of like a narcissistic person. I, I get the energy of a seductress here, somebody who likes to play head games, somebody who just 
wanted what they want when they want it. Might have used you for sex, even for some of you. Somebody who just probably talking to multiple men because they're that kind of person where they would want the attention. They always need, it's like all eyes on them. They they need the attention. They need, they, they like to put all their eggs in multiple baskets, basically. And they hesitated. They had mixed feelings about you and you were certain of them. You really loved them. And they kept you, you blocked and tied up because you didn't want to commit to anybody else because you kept thinking maybe eventually they would stop playing games and they would commit to you. Maybe eventually they would settle down and get serious about you. Um, maybe eventually they would cut the other men or other women they're talking to out of their life. Like they just kind of tied you up. And so it's like you couldn't commit or love anybody else because you kept telling yourself eventually they'll, they'll love me. Eventually they'll see what's here. Eventually they'll come back around and they'll commit and they'll be with me. Eventually they'll stop playing games and... You know, they just, they never stopped playing those games. They never were certain about you the way you were about them. And it's a third party distraction. This is a karmic partner here too. It's just somebody that you had to learn from. I think you felt like you loved them a lot in the moment. I don't think you, I think when you look at it, I don't think you love them as much as you felt like you did in that moment. I think it was just a lesson you were learning. I do get the energy here of cheating. I don't know if you guys were necessarily together though, but I, I get the energy that they had multiple people on the side it wasn't just you they had they had a few people and it's like so either this already happened like or you are is already reconciled and this truth came out and they they tried to apologize and you're you know this whole story already happened and your guides are bringing your attention back to it because there's cords that need to be cut or there's just you need to heal from this energy um you got to like let this energy like there's or like a pattern like a subconscious pattern or, or like a certain belief you have now about relationships like you know what I mean like maybe after this person you kept getting in these situations where you ended up in third party relationships or you ended up being used for sex in your future relationships it's like this hurt you on such a deep level that it sank into your subconscious and you kept repeating those patterns even after this relationship was over. And so your guides are bringing you back to this so you can cut this pattern out so you can actually be with your true love and stop sabotaging things with your actual real person and let these patterns go. For others, this is this is the past, but this is coming back around for you to close out this cycle. Um, again, probably somebody who cheated or just, or, you know, if you guys weren't dating, they were just talking to multiple people. Somebody who's very vain, shallow, narcissistic, just needs a lot of attention. And it's like, they wanted that reconciliation. You know, they try to be all cute and sweet with you. But then the truth came out. We got hidden, we got reconciliation and we have hidden truth here. So I feel like either you already found out they were cheating or had multiple partners or this person's going to come, this person, this is going to come back around and you're going to find out that they were talking to other people at the same time they were talking to you. Or you're going to find out something about some kind of hidden truth, like something about like a betrayal or kind of finally seeing this person's true colors i think you were in denial before you always tried to see the best in them and that truth is going to come out and you're going to see how toxic this karmic partner you were with really is and this is dreams visions telepathy you know this is connected to hidden truth here where your guides are pushing you to see the truth they're pushing you to realize that this is a karmic partner that you got to move on from they're pushing you to realize that um they're they're showing you the truth. This this narcissist, this like succubus type energy here, is trying to seduce you, and your guides are are kind of blocking her out as much as they can, as much as you'll allow them to, and they're coming through dreams, visions, telepathic communication. They're trying to show you the truth about this person, so you can move on and let this person go, um, and close that cycle out. So, and for those of you. For those of you that have already been through this whole cycle with this person, it's not coming back around. Um, the hidden truth is what your guides are showing you now about this pattern I just mentioned, where it's like, oh shit, you actually, you're realizing now, oh, you do have this pattern in your relationships because of the trauma you face with this person. You do have, a, you do, you are sabotaging. You do have a tendency to go for people who won't love you because of the trauma you face with this person. It hit you on a subconscious, deep level. 
that now you keep ending up in third party situations where the other person just is with somebody already or they just can't commit. You end up in these negative situations because of how badly this this affected you on such a deep level. And so that truth is coming out that you need to cut the cords. You need to, to get you need to be introspective and get to the root of it to whatever that that pattern is you're repeating and cut that pattern out and listen to your intuition so you can go forward. Um, or, you know, again, the other story could be if this is if this hasn't fully closed out yet, then, then yes, this person is going to come back with, for reconciliation, but you're going to see the truth about them. You're going to see their true colors. You might find out they were cheating on you. One of your friends might tell you they saw her or him with somebody else. Some kind of truth is going to come out, and your guides are pushing for that truth. Divine intervention. They're trying to make that truth happen. They're trying to open your eyes and get you to see that this is a karmic connection. These are karmic patterns based on this connection. You need to cut all that out, and you're going to be afraid of commitment. Of course you're afraid of commitment because you don't want to get hurt by this person again. That's your intuition. Your your intuition is saying, hey, I don't want to deal with this person again. I don't want to deal with this negativity again. And I think you always were in denial about this connection. You always made excuses for them. And you're like, oh, I'm just afraid of commitment or I'm just scared of getting hurt. And it's like, no, with this toxic person, you knew on every level they were toxic. And you kept telling yourself that it was just you. You kept taking responsibility. You kept trying to be the bigger person. But the reality is you were afraid of commitment with this person because you knew they were a backstabber. You knew they were a seductress, a succubus. You know, that's why you were so afraid of, of commitment. You know, sex, seduction here. This person, you pull away from this person and they try to, they try to get you back in with sex or they try to seduce you. They try to... They might manipulate you through sex, too. I think I feel like a very sexual relationship here. Like, they might... You guys get in an argument, and then they try to have sex with you or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, they try to use sex to their advantage. It's somebody who's very, like... Yeah, just like a seductress, like a succubus-type energy. They might come forward with, like, a half ass apology or regret, but it's not real. You know? It's like... There's just this energy of pride and stubbornness here. It's like they might give you some half ass apology, but I think you know better. You just, you need to stop being in denial about this connection. If you haven't already, stop being in denial and realize that, you know, listen to your dreams and your intuition. And also, I feel like this is for those of you that have, that have been holding on to a karmic situation and you have your true love right in front of you now. Like you have your divine feminine, you have everything you've ever wanted right in front of you and you're sabotaging it based on what you experience with this karmic connection, I think your guides are saying, hey, you know what? We did tell you that this was toxic, but you didn't listen to us. You know, like there were red flags there. We, we showed you this was a succubus. We showed you this was a, a toxic, narcissistic seductress that was just using you for money or for sex or for whatever. Like we, and they had mixed feelings and they had other people around. Like we showed you that. You know, your guides are kind of saying, like, we showed you the truth. We, 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 it, oh, that fell out. Okay. <laughs> did it fall out? Okay, yeah, it did. <laughs> your guides are saying, I think it's kind of funny it fell out because I was about to get that card and show you, like, hey, they showed you the truth. And it's like, you're in, you were in such denial, like, the card fell back under there. That's the kind of denial you were in. When the truth came out, you, you were just like, nope not gonna see it <laughs> it's like people told you hey this person's toxic like your friends told you or family like oh i don't get good vibes from this person or hey this person has multiple people or maybe even from them you found out they were talking to multiple people and you thought you could change their mind or you thought you could win them over or you thought that they were just damaged and they just needed time and they just you just had to be consistent and supportive and eventually they would love you and see what you see and blah 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 and it never came through for you, you know? You just went in circles again and again and again with this person. And it's like, I mean, I know it hurt a lot. I know it was a hard lesson to learn. But it's like, trust your guides again, though, because you have to realize you are the one that put yourself in that situation. I mean, you are the one that chose to be blind and not cut the, th the threads when, when the truth came out. You know what I mean? You're the one that continued to do that. Like, your guides were showing you the red flags again and again. Your guides were showing you, hey, there's better out there for you. Hey, this person will cheat on you. This person is cheating on you. This person has multiple people they're hanging out with. This person 
is going to mess around with your friends even possibly for some of you you know like your guides were showing you through possibly through dreams and visions just through gut feelings through energy like maybe you felt like your body was tense around this person or you didn't feel fully relaxed or you just didn't feel like you could be your true self with this person you felt like you always had to work to win them over and like there it was always just one-sided just like unrequited love with this person like you always gave them so much more than they ever gave you and your guides are saying hey like you can trust us because we didn't put you in that situation. We, I mean, they, you may have been, been, been in that situation to learn something, but like you dragged that situation on way longer than it needed to be dragged on for. You know what I mean? And so your guides are like, hey, you know, trust us again. Listen to it. Don't be afraid to listen to your intuition and your dreams and visions and, and telepathic energy again. Like trust your guides again. Trust your intuition again, because the reality is they did show you all the red flags. Like they showed you how toxic it was. And you chose to kept, keep the blindfold on and keep ignoring them and stay in denial. And you chose to drag that situation on way longer than it needed to be dragged on for. So, you know, don't blame your guides for what you did to yourself is what I'm getting with this, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, whether that whether that's already ended or whatever the situation might be, the, the, the red threads need to be cut. Whatever patterns you've been repeating based on this relationship that you were in, this karmic connection... You need to end those patterns so that you can stop sabotaging things with, with your true love. Um, yeah. Basically, basically what I'm getting here. Okay. So, I think that's like the main thing your guys just wanted to say is like, hey... If you're having blocks to love, look at that situation and look at the patterns you've been repeating based on that situation. Um, does your feminine want you to know anything? Is there anything else? I mean, I'm sure she does, but like that was like the main focus I think they wanted me to tell you about with this reading. But let's see. Is there anything else that you need to know about or that your feminine wants you to know at this time? Your divine feminine? Not the karmic. Please not the karmic again. None of that. <clears throat> Mental instability, X, the past, Ugh. spying, mutual feelings, cold, guarded, distrusting, and then we got message, open, honest communication, divine intervention, third party distraction, love offer, and we've got taking it uh, choosing their words wisely and planning the approach um let me put this one over here so i can make room for it <laughs> Actually, that's going to confuse me because I don't think it belongs there. <laughs> yeah, two very different energies here. So it's kind of saying, like, choose your path here, you know? You have you have true love. You have this divine connection. And it's right in front of your face. And I think because of everything you went through with the ex, you keep thinking, like, this is too good to be true. Or, like, this couldn't be real. Like... You keep self-sabotaging. You keep thinking like, oh, I need to be perfect before I love again. Or I need to... Or like, oh, I'll never be good enough. Or, you know, you just... You have these, these patterns from the toxic ex. And your guides are kind of just saying, hey, true love is right in front of your face. Do you want to keep repeating these karmic cycles? And these patterns and keep going for toxic people? Or do you want to be with your true love now? Because we have two very different energies here. And it's saying your ex is mentally, she's, she's cold. She's mentally unstable. She's cold. She's, she's negative. Um, let's see. Both these women, what are both these women could be spying on you too? And I see this as, yeah, I see two different energies here. Like this is the, this is your true love, your soulmate, your twin flame. Look at how like how she's just in your arms, how vulnerable she is, how open she is, how romantic she is. This is this is emotional depth. This is mutual feelings. This is so much. Look at how different these two energies are, you know? 
how cold and how just guarded and just mean that woman is compared to how vulnerable and how loving and how sweet this woman is, how empathetic she is, how angelic she is. It's just such a drastically different energy, you know? And these feelings are mutual. Like with the karmic, it was one-sided. You know, she only wanted you when she could use you. But with this person, it's like she loves you consistently. You know, she loves you through all of it. And she might be aware of the third party. And she wants you to heal from that and move on from it and actually be with her, you know? There's there's this emotional depth here. This is, this is true love that you have here. And you might be, you know... You might be distrusting and scared and not sure of it because of what you went through with the karmic. And this is also just talking about the karmic's energy again, too. She's just cold, guarded, distrusting. But there's a there's a message coming in, I feel here. And this is divine intervention, synchronicity. So you're noticing the signs and your guides are trying to get you away from the karmic and get you to your, your queen, your person, your true love. They're trying to push you guys together. And they might be pushing your person See, this is open, honest communication. This is a message coming in. And this is the divine intervention is connected to this message. So maybe you've been considering the karmic and your guides might push, might push you um, or like your guides might push your person, your true love to message you to, to get your attention away from the karmic and onto them. Um, or, you, you know, you've been kind of repeating these patterns in your head with the karmic like, oh, I'm not good enough, blah, 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 just getting stuck in your head, repeating these patterns. And maybe your guides are pushing your true love to message and just be open and supportive and loving and just be, you know, just empathetic and just solid for you. And you're, it's helping you heal from this karmic connection because you're realizing you can have something you've never had before. You can have true love finally, you know, and it's like it's right in front of your face. It's right there. You don't have to wait for it anymore. It's, it's you have it. You just have to break this pattern and stop sabotaging yourself here, you know. Could also be your guides pushing you to send the message to your true love to confess your 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 feelings be open and honest about what you've been through you know it's like your guides are kind of pushing you together and trying to push this pattern and push this karmic away from you and it's like yeah third party distraction karmic partner it's very it's very like it's like a battle for your love almost we have here. So we got the karmic partner, but then we have love offering commitment. And this is your true love's energy. This is like, this is an actual commitment. This is actual like consistent love. This is a love offer that, you're, you're, you, that your person is wanting you to give or they're wanting to give you this love offer. They're wanting to take, your, your soulmate or your twin flame is wanting to take this connection to, to the next level. They're wanting more commitment from you and with you. You know, it's like this surprise, like they're hoping for that rose from you. They're hoping that, you know what I mean? They're hoping to be chosen by you. They're hoping that you're going to choose them over the karmic or, or again, over the karmic patterns that you have of sabotage and doubt and insecurity and fear and listening to your ex's voice in your head. They're hoping that you're going to choose them over the fear, that you're going to choose love over fear. They're waiting for you to offer them this rose. And they're, they're wanting this with you. They're wanting this commitment with you. So yeah, it's like the divine is really at hand here trying to help you heal and cut out the karmic and cut out the patterns that you have with the karmic and show you that you have true love right in front of your face. You just got to take that leap of faith. And um, they're choosing their words wisely with you. They're planning the approach. You know, when they send this message, or if you send the message, it's like you're someone's planning it out. You know, they're wanting to do things right. They're wanting to be gentle with you because they're probably aware of how damaged you are. Maybe they're aware of the karmic and they're hoping that you let that go and that you come forward and commit to them instead. So that's where you guys are at, it looks like. And if this resonates, go ahead and subscribe to me. I also do paid private readings and my information is below. Thank you for watching.